The group chat between me and the boys got leaked. Oh, yeah. The consequences have been extreme. Wow. Me and my buddies use Discord a ton, and we have a server we made with just us in it, and we post tons of offensive jokes and memes. Pictures of girls we've dated or hooked up with, parentheses, no nudes, were not that disrespectful. Boasts of trolling. But you are some disrespectful. Some disrespectful, yeah. Yeah, okay. Boasts of trolling we've done, etc. They're trollers, dude. They're fucking trolls. You guys sound cool as fuck. Yeah. They get, Slash S. Well, this guy Derek got into our circle of friends on our main server, and we thought Derek was a cool dude, so we invited him to join our server. All eight of us actually liked the dude, and he seemed chill and thought he'd fit in. However, instead, this asshole screenshotted everything. As in literally shit going back five plus years, then shared it in all of our community and all of our community exposing us. A lot of people were pissed. One girl my buddy dated briefly is furious that raunchy text messages she sent were in there too. Yes. A couple people we made fun of by photoshopping pictures of them are super butthurt too. There's also a ton of Israel, Palestine, and Russia, Ukraine memes that people thought were in poor taste. Now, Sounds like it. Yeah. yeah. Now a bunch of people think we're all just terrible people now and don't want to be our friends anymore, but there's a good few people who actually want to join at least, lol. Either way, if you're reading this, you're a cocksucker, Derek. A pathetic mama's boy who decided to leak shit to make dudes who called your brother look bad. Again, Fuck you. I didn't put that into my audio That's the end of the post. What a confession. About five Why do people think I don't know that so you can just go on Discord and just and do the <laughs> most insane shit? Yeah, like... I don't know, but like, this is a tale as old as time. You're not cool, man. Every fucking uh, fucking idiot every stupid fucking fascist hateful idiot has been doing this shit since the beginning of time and it always gets leaked because you're idiots. You're stupid. Yeah, you're fucking dumb. All right, there was you just think that everyone's exactly like you. It's like, yeah, you guys are totally gonna like this joke where I uh, uh, photoshop all of our friends and people, our loved ones yeah, to make them look like assholes. Bullied people and probably did some insane shit and yeah, whatever. one normal person in that Discord. It's over. Am I the asshole for banning my daughter from going to her best friend's house? Ooh. This one's gonna make a lot of people really mad. <laughs> Okay, great. My daughter and her best friend, Will, have been friends since they were five, and I let her sleep over at his house sometimes. They're 13. Her best friend is a really sweet boy, and I love their dynamic. I think the both the both of them are adorable, but I don't think I can continue letting her go to his house. This is so insane, but my daughter fell and broke her arm while at their house. Whoa, okay. Accidents happen, so I would have been understanding if his mom called me. No. But she didn't. I had no idea about it until my daughter came home the next day. The next day! That is real. You need to get that checked out immediately. The clock's fucking ticking. <laughs> oh my god. She, she did, but like, that's... Okay, but no, I mean like that mom that didn't say anything. This is gonna get so crazy. Okay. okay. She didn't have a phone because hers was broken, and I didn't get around to buying her a oh, new one yet because shit. we've had a lot of expenses. Okay, fair. I get it. So I trusted her parents would call me if there was an issue. Yeah, I feel like that's a reasonable one. Yeah, like, it's their parents. You would expect them. Anytime. If, if a kid broke their arm in front of me, I would I would be like, I'd call the I'd, fucking... What's your parents' yeah. number? Yeah. And they probably don't know, because I don't I'll know. I'll drive you to the hospital so you don't worry about an ambulance. Let's <laughs> and go. And I'm going to get arrested for kidnapping a child, but yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but yeah. so... But no, she spent the night at their house and then walked home with her best friend. What? So his parents didn't even walk her home while her arm was broken. The most insane part of this of this uh of this is that her mom is a nurse. Oof. So there isn't Oof. any excuse. I told her that I find it really messed up that she didn't tell me and it turned into a whole argument. How is that an argument? I don't know how you even defend yourself. Yeah. Dude. Yeah, she, I could do no wrong. Dude, this is okay. She said my daughter seemed fine and she was playing afterwards and she was too exhausted to take her to the hospital. Okay. I mean, <sighs> she said she knew I would make a big deal out of okay, nothing. Never mind. Okay. So she she never mind. Could wait. That's right, crazy. That gloves you're like, are off. Oh, you're okay. getting. Yeah. Wait a minute. No. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay, I get it. Because you're a nurse, and I know, I know a lot of nurses are currently overworked and underpaid. I can understand well, yeah, being exhausted. But, like, 
However, figure it out. You could call her mom. That's the thing, though. Yeah, it's still like that's still that's crazy. Still, yeah, and then like, but to also double down, be like, it's not a big deal. It's crazy. So, okay, all right, <laughs> walk it off. <sighs> um, I insulted her. If I'm, on- I would do the same thing. Yeah, fuck it. Whatever. I, I insulted her. If I'm honest, your daughter's arm is broken. Yeah, <laughs> what are words gonna do at this point? Nothing. Yeah. Fucking. I said she was a terrible parent and treated my ta- my daughter terribly. She let her walk home alone, well, with a child, but a parent should have been with her, yes. And she c- should have called me the second my daughter was hurt. She insulted me back, and it was a whole mess. I told my daughter and my son that they can't go over to that house anymore because uh, that kid's parents are clearly insane. No, yeah. My daughter is especially sad about this because that is her best friend, but I do think it is for the best. I do not feel comfortable leaving them alone together. I feel like those parents are neglectful. Am I the asshole for refusing to go to my mother's church, even though they got me a graduation gift? A fair warning, I have nothing against religion or having a relationship with God. I have a best friend who is Christian, and we get along super great, but the difference between what her and my mother believe is huge. Yeah, I get that. Long story short, my mother drug me to church from the time I was born until when I when I turned 18 and decided that I wasn't going to go there. I decided I wasn't going to go uh, there. So we have, like, uh, like uh true like um like go to church every week okay yeah i understood no i feel that my mom was like go to church every week until i don't feel like it <laughs> yeah. and yeah yeah i have a bit of religious trauma from my mother and i've talked to her about the multiple reasons i don't want to attend church at her church mm. jumping to recently now she told me about a week ago the church wanted to get me a gift for graduation i told her something along the lines of well that's nice of them but i don't need anything and i won't be going to that church she acted like she has no recollection of me telling her all the reasons throughout the years of why I won't go to that church. Yeah. She texted me this morning and is trying to convince me to come even though I have told her multiple times I won't come back. She texted me, the church will have your graduation gift for you today. Could you come to church at 11 to receive it? It would make us all happy. And I told her, I told you I will not go. She hasn't responded yet, but I'll update if something more comes from this. So am I the asshole? What do you think? Thinking emoji. Of course, there is way more that I could have prefaced the story with, but then the buzz would be a novel, so I'm just trying to stick with a little context and the basics of what happened recently. I definitely don't fit in at her church and haven't felt safe or welcomed in a decade. Oh, okay. I was I, I knew this was kind of where I was going, because I know a lot of churches, some churches can be like this, but yeah. So yeah, am I the asshole for refusing to go to receive a college graduation gift from the old church I haven't been to a service in around five years? Again, I'm not going, so don't worry about me going, I'm not. And um, some people are like, not the asshole. Uh, someone said the graduation gift is your baptism. Surprise! I, 35 females, started my tattoo sleeve, and my husband, 34 male, is mad because another man, quote-unquote, marked me. (laughs) Did I do something wrong? Another man imprinted on me. (laughs) Yeah, he's an alpha werewolf guy. Yeah, he's an alpha. All tattoo artists are alpha werewolves. True. Too long didn't read, a husband upset, a man man tattooed me. That's the too long. Does he also get mad when like uh, another man bags the groceries or like, you know, like other mundane tasks? We're going to get into that. Okay, good. I recently started a traditional sleeve. It's going to be pieced together and I found a really good parentheses male artist nearby. I don't know many women in my area who do traditional style. I really like his work and he had availability and great prices. So I just went for it. The first one I got, my husband was fine with. I told him before I reached out to the artist, showed him his Instagram, showed him the flower I was getting. After the appointment, I called to let him know it went well, he was cool, and he's a power lifter and we talked about the gym a lot. The artist had missed a spot and had let me know to come in and he would give me a good price on my next one. So I sent him a couple of things and made an appointment for two more, parentheses, my arm felt so incomplete with just one. Uh, My husband knew about this appointment. The day of, yesterday... He was very distant. Sorry, this is very all over the place. No, it's all good. I invited him to come with me, but he said no. So I left, got them done, and came home. Now it's been almost 24 hours, and he has not really spoken to me. (laughs) What? Yeah, I know. Does he also not wear purple shirts and uh, (laughs) not wear uh, uh, lip lip balm balm or whatever it was? Today he came to me and said he's upset because I let another man mark me forever before he got to mark me. What? Wait, wait, what? Wait, what? wait, wait, hold on, wait, 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 I missed that the first time I Before read it. Before he gets to mark? What is he gonna do? He's not a tattoo artist. 
What is he doing? Um, he knew I wanted a sleeve. I've been showing him pictures of tattoos for months. He knows I have <laughs> I have had issues with my body my whole life. He knew I never felt confident enough to be myself and do the things I want to do. And he was happy that I was finally trying to become the person I always wanted to be. My Instagram is literally full of girls working out traditional tattoos and girls working out with tattoos. I've wanted them for years and I'm finally doing it. Edit. He is not and has never been a tattoo artist. So what, yeah, what does he mean by Mark? I don't get that. Am I the asshole for making my plain seat neighbor uncomfortable? I, 40 male, just got off of a long flight. The kind where even the comfy seats feel like torture racks. Now I'm a big dude. Not yet booked two seats level, but enough for plain seats to be absolute hell. Booked a window seat, figured the extra space would help. The flight attendant assigns a woman to the middle seat. Nice person. We exchanged greetings. No problem. Here's where things get tricky. Nature called a couple of times during the flight, and let's just say squeezing by in the cramped space is an exercise in contortionism at the best of times. Yeah. The woman in the middle seat politely refused to get up whenever I needed to use the restroom. The lady in the aisle seat was very accommodating, would get up any time either I or the lady in the, mi in the middle needed to get up. Now I get it. Nobody wants some sweaty dude brushing past them. Wait, the middle lady wouldn't get up, but the... The aisle lady would. So he was in the window seat. And he's asking her to hey, get I up. Hey, I have to go. Can you get up? And she's like, no. But the other one, what? okay, so if one of... You're, okay, that person's already kind of an asshole if the other one's the also willing seat. to get... Yeah, middle seat is. Yeah. Especially if aisle seat's also like, yeah, I'll get up. I don't give a shit. Yeah. Also, I did, reading this a second time, it kind of implies that she had to get up too. Yeah, because whenever she got up... The yeah, aisle the, lady would get But up. she wouldn't do it for it. That's weird. Yeah. Now I get it. Nobody wants some sweaty dude brushing past them. I tried my best to minimize contact, literally sucked in my gut and held my breath like I was underwater. Mm. But even with all the contorting, there was some unavoidable brushing past. At the end of the flight, the woman makes a passive aggressive comment about quote unquote personal space. You didn't get up. And how uncomfortable I made her feel throughout the flight. You could have gotten up. <laughs> Honestly, I feel terrible. Didn't mean to make her feel that way, but else, what else was I supposed to do? Hold it, hold it for eight hours. Ask her to physically oh, get no. up. Yeah. Since she repeatedly didn't get up and indicated I should squeeze by, I had no reason to think she was too bothered by it. Eight hours. Yeah, that's like uh, coast to coast. I think. Yeah. Jesus. Am I the asshole for making her uncomfortable? I don't think so. No, not at all. Well, because there was an option yeah. to get up. Yeah. Like okay, unless she couldn't get up for some reason. But I'm. I'm sorry. Plane seats are so fucking small now. And I'm a big, I'm a big woman. Yeah. I'm a large lady. Um, but that shit is so fucking small. Um, you're all touching. Yeah. Everybody's touching. touching. At some point, I don't yeah. care how small you are. Yeah. Unless you, unless you bump up to the big seats, you're not, you're touching someone. Yeah. yeah. Am I the asshole for refusing to remove certain foods from my house because my husband's friend is allergic? My husband and I recently moved into the same city as his childhood best friend, quote unquote, Steve. Steve is allergic to all nuts, legumes, and soy. Because of this, my husband wants our house to have a rule that we're not to have nuts in the house in case he comes over. Okay. I think this is a dumb rule and refuse to comply. I did agree to keep my nut-based products in a separate container, but my husband thinks that this isn't enough. I'm allergic to wheat, and we still have it in the house. Okay, okay. All right, that changed. Oh, I mean, hmm. I also think it's unnecessary. I don't know the extent of Steve's allergies, but I do, I do know that it's not immediately life-threatening. He doesn't carry an EpiPen, and he also works in food service and frequently handles nuts. Okay. Being in the same room isn't going to hurt him. As long as we don't serve him food with nuts and watch for cross-contamination, we should be fine. Okay. The foods that Steve is allergic to are a big part of my diet. Also, this is where I live, not Steve. So I feel like I shouldn't have to okay. cater to the right. possibility that he might come over at some point in the future. You, okay, that at least answered my question of how bad is the allergy, because I was going to be like, well, if he if it's super yeah. bad and it's in the air... No, I get it, yeah. Yeah. But my husband is worried he'll accidentally cause his friend to have an allergic reaction if we don't keep the entire house free of allergens. Am I the asshole for refusing to go along with that? 